Well, well, well. Hello again. Hello. Okay, so we know it's summer fun with Jason, right? So adventures are adventures. And I think that we can agree that, or at least <laughs> I could agree that there are absolutely different kinds of adventures. How many are there? Hell, I don't know. Um, I mean, some people could say, oh, I've had a couple different kinds of adventures in my life. I typically type, like to think that every day is a certain type of adventure. And today, again, I told you in my first video that there would be adventures with me and things with me that I would share with you. And today was another adventure. Okay, I didn't know that today's venture would be spiceful. And I don't mean the food type of spiceful, okay? I mean the type of story that has a little bit of kick to it, okay? So this morning, um, uh, some of you don't know, I'm a teacher and I got to attend my first high school graduation ceremony uh, to where I was part of the ceremony. Now, you don't get to do a whole lot except to walk in, clap for the students, um, your figurehead essentially um, it's cool. You get recognized as part of someone who helps the students get there, which is awesome. And you are. And teachers um, do a great job and help these students. And it is a proud moment. That's the serious part. Okay. That's the serious part. Let's move past it. Okay. So before we entered the Coliseum, I walked inside the Coliseum with my regalia in my hand. If you don't know what regalia is, it is your college cap and gown, okay? Um, the cap and gown that I wore when I graduated college. Now, what idiot thought this through? That teachers um, that are going to sit at a high school graduation with kids half their age or more, um, you are gonna wear the regalia that you wore 20 years ago and still gonna fit like a glove. No. Um, mine did fit like a glove. It did. Um, it fit like a child's glove on an adult hand, let me say. So as I got into the Coliseum, now last year I wore this, I don't remember it feeling so snug. It was a little, but it wasn't this snug. I think I packed on a couple. It's okay. I'm in summer mode, getting in bikini mode now. Okay, trying to work myself back into bikini magic. Not there yet, obviously. But, so, I go, <laughs> I'm in the back of the Coliseum, and I go into the bathroom because I thought, well, I'm going to go in here and make sure that my sash is straight and stuff like that. So, I had it zipped up. I thought, well, I'll just toss it over my head and put my arms in like a little four-year-old, right? Nothing wrong with that, so I did that. I go to pull it down over my head, and it's doing good over my chest, which that's the widest part of my body, my shoulders, it got over that. As I pulled it down near my midsection, I felt like I was a 21-year-old girl putting on a tight little shimmy skirt, okay? Shimmy skirt, I would um, kind of throw the image out there as one of those ones to where when you put it on, you kind of shimmy it down because it's so tight, right? You shimmy it down like you, you grab with both hands and you wiggle your butt around as you're pulling it down over top of your hips. There was a 44 year old adult male in the men's bathroom doing that with regalia. Okay. Looked kind of stupid. Not going to lie to you. Gratefully, there was nobody in there because if they were, I wouldn't have blamed them if they laughed at me. In fact, I chuckled a little bit at myself. So, as I got it on, I realized if I walk out here, they're going to think I'm wearing a black mini skirt. So, I unzipped it down to the bottom until it was time to go out to the Coliseum. Okay, I figured that would help me hide my, uh, my shimmy skirt look. So we did, everything was going well. You know, just, I kind of held the composure that I was hot and I didn't want 
you know, to be zipped up for the next hour until we went out there. So played the part, got ready. It was time to go out there. I zipped up my shimmy skirt and um, we walked out. And of course we had to remain standing for the, for the colors and for the national anthem. And I was kind of pulling it up a little bit so it didn't feel so tight around my buttocks. And um, this was the next adventurous part, I tell you. Um, so uh, I say adventure and typically this is not an adventure. It was my adventure called sitting, sitting, okay? Shouldn't be much, right? But for me it was. Because I knew where the zipper was on this regalia was right in my midsection. And when I sat down, it may hit me right in the stomach part, right? So they said everybody be seated. And I sat down and let me tell you something. This thing got so tight that I thought, I thought to myself, if I breathe really deep and let it out, that this zipper is going to pop. And whoever's standing on stage, this zipper is going to pop across the room and poke somebody's darn tooth out. That's how fast that thing would fly across off of my regalia. Adventure with spice. I don't know what I was thinking of not maybe trying this thing on ahead of time. I don't know uh, what... May, I just wasn't thinking, I guess. I, I don't know. So, lesson learned. A lesson learned that um, maybe thought process, hey, graduated 2004 to 2021. I was 190 back then. I'm not 190 now. Maybe I should have uh, gotten a little bit bigger regalia. But now I know, right? Luckily, luckily... I positioned myself well that the zipper stayed in place. Um, when I went to stand up, I did have to shimmy the skirt back down. Um, I remained sucked in a little bit until we got outside the Coliseum and then I unzipped immediately and ran to my car. All right, so my daughter has a graduation party today, so I don't have too much time. That is the next adventure. We may be talking again, again soon. I'm sorry this was so long, but until next time, again, I didn't say this last time, but please, if you're watching this, if you love it, if you want to see more, like the video, subscribe. We'll have fun times together. Promise. Till next time, Jason, out.